Well, hello, and welcome to another ride video. This this is the Moto Marini Semizo six and a half, the SCR Scrambler variant. They make two of these. This is the SCR. They also make the STR, which is a slightly more road-focused version. Big difference is this little uh, windscreen here on the front of the bike, which uh, it doesn't do an awful lot. More aesthetics. But uh, it's a cool bike, and I want to tell you all about it. My name is Ray. If you want to know more or get a full write-up or see anything else we do, head to MotoNZ.com. Right. This bike, it is uh, a 649cc motorcycle, so it is uh, learner approved, lambs approved here in New Zealand. Um, it's quite fun to ride, and for a lambs approved bike, it's got a lot to it. You can see already, it's got the uh, full TFT LCD display. It's not a massive display, but it's big enough. Bike itself has an 810 millimeter seat height, so uh, nice and approachable. It's got a 16 liter fuel tank, and uh, although it lacks a little bit of low end torque when compared to some of the more well known 650cc Lambs approved bikes, um, I think it trumps them in a lot of areas. Uh, it's got fully adjustable suspension, Kayaba forks there's a police car coming and I don't know where he is hmm oh there you go fully adjustable uh, beautifully gold anodized fork and uh, fully adjustable monoshock down the back as well there was a lot going on in, on in town today Twin 293mm discs up front, clamped on by two pot Brembo caliper or calipers at the front, and a single two pot caliper by Brembo at the back. And I tell you what, the brakes on this thing are outstanding. The brakes are really nice. We've got uh, an 18 inch spoked alloy rim at the front, 17 inch spoked alloy rim at the back, and uh, comes out of the box with um, Pirelli rubber. Got a nice big wide bar here for control, makes it very agile, and uh, well, the smaller than what I'm used to wheel sizes, and a nice big wide bar and a low seat. She's a very nimble, agile little machine. Good for getting around town. No screen at the front, which means it's got, uh, well, it's got no wind disturbance, which makes it very quiet in the helmet. You've got clean, undisturbed air hitting your helmet all around. All you hear is a gentle whoosh generally speaking. Six speed standard transmission. Uh, nice leather, comfortable leather seat. Comfortable for short stints. I wouldn't like to sit on here for, you know, all day. It's not that comfortable. But it is comfortable enough. This particular one, the, so Moto Marini. If you haven't heard of Moto Marini before, I wouldn't be surprised. They've been around since the early 1900s. Uh, Italian brand. They're generally known for making small ball bikes. Um, they've had a bit of a turbulent history in the recent years, now owned by a Chinese outfit, which gives them a bit of stability. But the bikes are still Italian designed. And I think the Italian designers have done a fantastic job with this bike. All the colorways look fantastic, but this one here, matte black, silver, that gold fork really sets it off, and the brown leather seat. Yeah, that's good. I do like it. I do like this bike. Uh, we've got some nice round mirrors, functional. I can see enough behind me. If this was my bike, I'd probably swap out the mirrors for some nice little bar end jobbies. 
but they're not ugly, that's for sure. I talked about uh, this bike trumping the other Lambs bikes in the category in a few different ways. One, fully adjustable suspension, as I mentioned. Two, you got that LCD, that TFT LCD display, which is also customizable. The bike also has a Bluetooth module in here, so you can connect your phone, can control your phone and your music by the uh, backlit um, switch gear. Uh, and I, I quite, I think the bike is very well positioned. As I said, it just, it doesn't quite have the rip your face off talk of some of the other bikes in the class, but it, it beats them out in some of the gear, some of the tech. Um, it's a twin cylinder, parallel twin, I think you'd call it. 649cc engine, liquid cooled, fuel injected, all that jazz. Full LED lighting all around. And it hums along quite nicely, really. Which brings me to probably the three most satisfying things about this bike. The first one is the first half of the rev range. It doesn't have that, that rip your face off torque, but it does have a, uh, a nice swell of power. Likes to get the revs up around the, uh, or anything above, say, 3,000 revs and it will go. But yeah, that, that first half of the rev range is quite nice. The second most satisfying thing about this bike would be the, uh, the indicator switch. My thumb just fits on it very nicely. It has a nice, th uh, a nice click. You can tell when you're indicated, you can tell when you cancel it, and it, uh, it just feels good. It's very satisfying. And the third in the list of three most satisfying things about this bike is the brakes. The rear brake, the lever feels brilliant, feels solid, doesn't flex. The brakes grab. They're very, very they're not bitey. <clears throat> they're not bitey, but are satisfying and the front brakes they just feel good the front brake lever is a one finger job and it hauls the bike up as i said very satisfyingly uh, ergonomics the seat as i said that 810 millimeter seat height the pegs are pretty much straight up and down from my buttocks the pegs i don't have an overly acute angle in the knees I'm not as stretched out as I would be on a uh, a cruiser or a adventure bike, but definitely enough room to move. Nothing feels out of place. The levers are where I want them. I can keep you know keep a finger or two over the levers, and the uh, the levers for my feet are where I need them to be as well. Just straight out of the box. So for those reasons, I definitely think this bike should be on the list. Of all Lambs bikes, Lambs riders, learner approved riders, learner riders, uh, if you struggle for inseam, if you're a little bit vertically challenged, then it's definitely a good option for you. And I can get along in traffic quite nicely. It's not underpowered by any means. I'm getting about 250 to 300 Ks to the tank. 16 litre tank that's about what i get on any other bike i mean i haven't run it all the way dry um and i think the uh information on the on the on the screen that i'm seeing 175 k's to empty i think that's a bit um reserved on the uh on the conservative side shall we say the LCD, the TFT, gives you all the information you need, and it's nice and clear. I do like it, and you can customize the color. You've got two presets. You've got uh, you've got the one that's made for this bike. It's labeled as SCR, and you've got the one that comes as labeled for the STR, the street variant as well. But right now, I've got speed, revs, Ks, engine temp, fuel gauge, odometer, two trip meters, range to empty what more do you need uh, we are ABS equipped and as far as I know that's pretty much all it's got what more do you want what more do you want
not much in the way of vibrations. I can definitely feel that the engine is doing it. It's not the most balanced engine in the world, let me say. But I have definitely felt worse. Just a little bit of vibes to know that you're, you're still moving, you're still doing it, you're still making way. That vibration comes through the bars a little bit and through the foot pegs, but it's... Actually, I, I quite like it. I think it's more a, a reminder that you're on a motorcycle. If you end up with something too smooth, then it can feel a little bit out of sorts sometimes. So there you go. My first thoughts, my first ride on the Moto Marini Ciamizo 6.5. Ciamizo. S E I E M M E Z Z O. Ciamizo. If you're struggling to spell it, struggling to say it, that's how you say it. I did have to ask when they. Uh, Mona Marini said to me, ah, oh, do you want to ride this bike for a while? I said, absolutely, what is it and how do you say it? Incidentally, if you want to know more about the history of Mona Marini, check out uh, February, Volume 1, 2023 of Kiwi Rider Magazine. You can check it out absolutely free at kiwirider.co.nz. Righto, team, if you want to know anything more, you got any questions, check them up in the comments below. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, that'd be much appreciated. This is Moto NZ. Check out the website, motonz.com. Full photos and full write ups on everything we do. Get the rubbers let down throttle on, and we'll catch you next time. Hooroo!